Hello cloud gurus, or as our automated transcriber once said, hello weight loggers, because why not? And thank you for joining this episode of news from the clouds at Microsoft. I've once again kicked everyone out of the office to focus on the important people, you. And this week on the show, Azure Digital Twins is now in public preview, the Onyx runtime for machine learning models is now also in preview, and the US government customers can now reserve special instances of resources. Last month, I shared from Microsoft Ignite in Orlando the announcement of Azure Digital Twins for IoT devices and infrastructure. The Digital Twins product is now in public preview. Azure Digital Twins allows customers to benefit from first modeling the physical environment before connecting actual devices to that model. By changing the IoT approach to one that goes beyond mapping sensors and devices, you can benefit from new spatial intelligence capabilities and insights into how spaces and infrastructure are actually used in the real world. This lets organizations better serve people's needs from energy efficiency to employee satisfaction and productivity. Some of the key features of the platform are Spatial Intelligence Graph, a virtual representation of a physical environment that models the relationships between people, places, and devices. Twin object models. Azure Digital Twins also offers predefined schema and device protocols that align to a solution's domain-specific needs to accelerate and simplify their creation. Advanced compute capabilities. Users can define functions that generate notifications or events based on telemetry from devices and sensors. And then security through Access Control and Azure Active Directory, or AAD. Role-based Access Control and Azure Active Directory serve as automated gatekeepers for people or devices specifying what actions are allowed and helping to ensure security, data privacy, and compliance. But there's a lot more than that. Go and read it. Now, there's also both a brand new product page, documentation, and even a quick start tutorial. Check it out using the links below. Now, we can't have an episode of Azure this week without some buzzwords, and this week it is machine learning. Mm. Now, this week, the ONNX, pronounced Onyx, uh, is the Open Neural Network Exchange, an open format to represent deep learning models. Now, it is supported by AWS, Facebook, and Microsoft, as well as a bunch of other smaller players in the AI space. Onyx gives data scientists and developers the freedom to choose the right framework for their tasks, as well as the confidence to run their models efficiently on a variety of platforms with the hardware of their choice. The Onyx Runtime Inference Engine, or Inference Engine, depending on how you want to say it, provides comprehensive coverage and support of all operators defined in Onyx. The release of Onyx Runtime expands on Microsoft's existing support of Onyx, allowing you to run inference or Onyx models across a variety of platforms and devices, including Azure using Python and container technology, .NET apps using ML.NET, and Windows devices using Windows built-in ML API in the October 2018 update. If you work for a US government department, great news! If not, you can enjoy these cute kittens in a basket. Aww. Now, reservations in Azure can help you save money on workloads that have consistent usage, providing price predictability to support your budgeting and forecasting needs. Also, reservations provide a lot of flexibility should your business needs change. It's easy to exchange your reservations and make changes, including the ability to modify your region, sizes, or term. And unlike other cloud platforms, you can also get a refund if you cancel before the reservation terms expires. More money for cake! Mm. Now, reservations are now generally available for US government Azure customers. Reservations are available for virtual machines, SQL servers, and Cosmos DB for US government and US DoD Azure regions, which include US Gov Arizona, US Gov Texas, US Gov Virginia, US DoD Central, and US DoD East. That is it for this episode of Azure This Week. However, there was a ton of announcements this past week. Just look at them all, right? There's a lot. So go and check them out as well. To recap the news from this episode, Azure Digital Twins is now in public preview. Digital Twins is a way to model your IoT infrastructure before actually deploying it for real. The Onyx runtime for machine learning models is now also in public preview. The Onyx is an open source format for describing machine learning models. And you as government customers can now reserve special instance of resources such as SQL Server, VMs, and Cosmos DB. Now, next week, the handsome Dean Bryan is back on your screen because apparently everyone needs a break from me. Hey, wait a minute. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Mm -hmm.